Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Interceptor. This is QuickMind. Sorry about not making a video for Saturday, but I had to work Friday night, and that's usually the first night I get to make Let's Plays on the weekend. But I was off tonight, so I'm making one now. Research download complete. I'm thinking this may be the last episode for this series, because I'm pretty much at the end. I think I'm just going to finish up research, just to show everyone uh, all the researchable items before I end it. The doppelganger missile. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever used it. If I did, it's it's been over ten years since I've used it, so I don't really remember what it looks like, but... According to this, uh, it tricks uh, your target or whoever into thinking the missile's actually you or some ship, and it tries to uh, be a decoy for you. Alright, well, no research available, so I think. I don't think I can get anything else. Uh, let's see, there's the black hole. Um, there was something I th think I was going to try to show you. Now I just can't remember what. Huh. Let's see. That's about all I need. Huh. Well, I suppose we can go for the last mission. So we're going to launch the final mission. fly this ship because I don't trust the computer. You are about to embark on the most vital and difficult mission of your career. Alright, so this is a two-part mission. The first part is we're going to the black hole that we found earlier, and we're going to uh, take out all of the alien ships and have to protect the MacArthur at the same time, which is this large ship. Um, once we take everything out, then we hop back inside, and it takes us through the black hole to the alien universe, and uh, we it, really the only thing you have to make sure you do is uh, set off the Nova Bomb, let it go, protect it so it can hit hyperdrive or hyperspace, whatever, hyperjump, and uh, once you do that, essentially the game's over, and at that point, you have uh, two different endings available to you, depending on what you do. Just some information you can read here, I'll scroll down for you. Yeah, hyperspace, there we go. And MacArthur's the only way in and out, so you better get in there. All right, folks, here we go. Got the big guns. Break off attack and go evasive. As you can see, we're kind of drifting up. That's because there's the black hole pulling us in. Would somebody get their ass over here? I need help. I could use some help here. That's a dead one. So yes, you can actually be destroyed by the black hole in this level. Busted your ass! Wasted his ass! Got him! That was the MacArthur up there. That these guys wish that stayed in their sleeping pods. Ethereals, mutons, insectoids. Oh my! We come in peace! <laughs> Making the galaxy safe for mankind! So you just hit the 
jump button or H button. This is the MacArthur. Get into MacArthur. And ready to proceed. I'm not gonna make it, guys. And one of my wingmen decided to commit suicide. Look at the size of that thing. Um, what the hell is that? Oh. Busted your ass. Making the galaxy safe for mankind. Smoke that bastard. Okay, I'm gonna use my fusion missiles on this base. Try to take it out. And as you can see, I'm going very, very slowly. Making the galaxy safe for mankind. Busted your ass. Very slow. Making the galaxy safe for mankind. Busted your ass. All right. So their base is destroyed. Would somebody get their ass over here? I need help. This one's for the cattle mutilations. Making the galaxy safe for mankind. You got it. Engaging target. Roger, leave him to me. Uh oh. Where are my guys me now? Not to mess with you. I can't get another one down. Alright, took him out. There's a phantasm way out there. So I still have two guys available. I could use some help here. No problem. You got it. Wow. Yeah, I think uh, there's like parts of the base right here or something. I can't get him off my tail. weapon. Pretty big, I'd say. Um, yeah. MacArthur, well, didn't really get hurt, but it's pretty far away. So, turn on the Nova Bomb. I've had for this uh, ending, especially on a difficulty like this. Yeah, my guys are pretty far away. They won't catch me. Okay, he wasn't that far it. away. Okay, so you hit the hyper jump button once you're close enough.
wraiths, you're like, oh, we gotta get out of here. Sectoid, and there goes the weapon arm. Yay, we did it. Yay, we can hear sound in space. in the next 20 years. Ah, sorry, that's an apocalypse reference. And you have some neat uh, little articles to read for the ending. Yeah, that's a scary picture of that muton. Interesting to see phantasms on Earth. Didn't think they'd, uh, they'd be that far. Kind of interesting music as well. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show all three endings in this one video. I'll just uh, I'll stop it and you know get back to the Nova Bomb part and then record it, and then, you know, go one more time. I won't show the whole ending, because it doesn't change between uh, endings. Although, obviously, you wouldn't get this, you wouldn't get the credits if you lost. But there are two good endings, and one bad ending. This is the best ending you can get, because you escape the alien universe. Yeah, XCOM Interceptor, folks. I thought it was pretty good. It was kind of a nice uh, escape from the normal isometric uh, strategy RPG aspect. And I liked it. It was kind of skill-based. And it still had the, uh, like the economy, and research, and manufacture aspect of the XCOM games.
one game I hadn't played in years, but uh, I kind of liked similar to this was a game called Free Space. I think it's been 12 or 13 years since I've played it, but that was a really cool uh, space flight simulator as well. Physics were a little more realistic in that game, too. For instance, you couldn't just uh, spin on a dime like in this game. Uh, you know, the more mass your ship had, the harder it was to turn. But hey, that, that's what helps make this game fun. Being able to destroy physics along with the aliens. Pretty close to the end, I think. Well, okay, maybe not too close. We still have, uh, some people giving their special thanks. Uh, anybody remember the graphics card company Voodoo? Yeah, they've been gone for a while either bought out or just went out of business, I don't remember. They used to be big back in the 90s. Remember a friend of mine gave me one of his extra graphics cards. I swear it's like a 16 meg graphics card and it was a step up from what I had before. That was pretty sad. Still, still going through. Special thanks to Laura Croft for just being there. Huh. Awesome. Oh, and there we go, folks. That's it. So I'm going to stop it now. And I'll get back to the end again and start recording again once once I get close to beating it a second time. So I'll see you in just a minute. Alright folks, I'm back. I've taken everything out. And now I just need to launch the missile. Except this time, we're not going to escape. We'll watch it speed off into the sunset. Or into the sun. Taking off now. I'll race you. Oh, nope, you won. Nova has reached full velocity and is on. 
All right, so we have one minute to go. So let's see. Death pod. We're going in. Sorry, man. Target. You're out of here. Roger. Leave him to me. No bomb in half in 30 seconds. Escape is strongly recommended. Whee! Oh no. I couldn't escape. Oh no. At least one of us made it. Two of us, we... Today, we gather to honor our pilots who have fallen in the line of duty. Through their efforts, the alien's plan was defeated and the entrance to their universe sealed once and for all. So now, let us remember our fallen companions. The brave men and women who head. sacrificed their lives to make Earth and the frontier safe for humanity. Okay, and there's that ending. And I'll be right back with the last one. Tack and go evasive. Folks, this one I can make real easy for you. Let's just go on a suicide run for the black hole. is all over me. Wasted his ass. Somebody get the ass over here! I need help! Another one down. I could use some help here. Would somebody get the ass over here! I need help! Oh, we failed. Yeah, that thing's huge. folks I hope you enjoyed my interceptor series uh, I know I enjoyed making it but uh, that's it for now uh, I think I'm going to start Xcom Terror from the deep next since I seem to be working backwards through the series uh, the Terror from the deeps definitely one of the tougher games and it ought to be pretty interesting so Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, folks, and welcome to my surprise addition to XCOM Interceptor. I want to show you something kind of funny you can use or do with the uh, Nova Bomb outside of the final mission. Uh, it's actually kind of funny, but interesting they programmed this into the base. Or, not the base, into the game. Okay. Now, if you recall, uh, there were just a bunch of stars around there, and I think at least one of them was uh, was owned by right, let's lock and load. one of the uh, oh, what, what do you call it? one of the outposts, the humans, whatever. 
Anyway. Okay. So let's find a star real quick. One that we can see a little bit brighter. Okay, well, maybe there isn't one close enough. We were kind of far out in space. Turn, turn, turn. Well. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's not one close enough. I'm going to try to shoot one off anyway. This is pretty neat. Yeah, look at this. Outpost and OPP destroyed. What? What are you talking about? And, look what I did. I thought there was one right here. It should have turned into a black hole, but I guess not. Just completely wiped it out. Let's, uh... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll reload the game. And we'll see what used to be there. Eh, no thank you. So right over here. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Hydrus is no more, according to my... To, to, to before I uh, loaded the game. So even here, you can destroy stars and stuff, and I'm kind of surprised it didn't turn into a black hole, because usually when I did that before, it, the star turned into a black hole instead. But, yeah, whatever. So... You can destroy stars out here, folks, so if the aliens get on your nerves over here with too many outposts or whatever, and you feel like you have the time to nuke them all, you can blow up all their stars until it's just what you have left. But uh, that would take forever. So I wouldn't quite recommend that, but... Well, I hope you enjoyed that little surprise segment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.